my Jammies. Here are Jammies. So, um, welcome to your mid month for the last two weeks of December. And this is different for the other uh, spreads that I've done. This is going to be your soul and love guidance. And when I mean with soul, guidance means that it's apply to any area of your life. I want to remind you guys, we are right now in Mercury retrograde in Sagittarius until December 22nd. Meaning communication. Remember Gemini's? We like, we talk a lot. And we have Mercury. It's our planet. So yes, Mercury retrograde, our planet in communication. Let's slow down a bit in our communication is make sure we need to be clear and try to avoid any misunderstandings. Sagittarius, because it's Mercury retrograde in Sagittarius, also Sagittarius have to be with trips and transportation and higher level of knowledge. So there might be some delays um, going back to you know, retrograde goes back to maybe some communications of your exes or exes coming back or whatever. But most of it in terms of communications, they're trying to get, you know, reach out to you or whatever. I wouldn't go that path. And, uh, no bueno. And then Sagittarius, you know, delays and transportations and transit. I you experience non-communication problems? A little bit, kind of, but not really. But... <clears throat> More when it comes to uh, transportation, having trouble with going to work. Not really since I knew that was going to happen, so I was already prepared. So let's start. What is the energy we are going to be in? Uh, not going to be in. What the energy will be coming in for us? Oh, I don't like this card. I don't. So I'm going to have to see what it's... Okay. Now I know. Now I know what it is. All right. What we need to avoid. What we need to avoid. What we need to avoid. There you go. What we need to focus on, my Demis. Ooh, there you go. This is our card. Call our name. And what is that we need to learn this last two weeks? It's our soul lesson card. No, it's this one. I think Taurus got the same card. As you see, I'm just picking it out of the pile. Um, I think it was Taurus, I don't remember. And then, singles, a little bit more of our love life, our guidance for singles. Singles mean you have nobody, nobody, all right? And for couples, marry or not marry, but we have someone in our life. So I'm going to pick this card, yes, it's not the other one. So, let's star my jammies. This is the energy we're going to be in. I think we're going to feel a little bit betrayed. Maybe someone is kind of like making us feel this way or this energy is going to bring up to us. But don't worry. This means that we got at the point when we're going to end this cycle of pain. That's what this means. So the energy is going to, this is why if you see the month of December, changes are happening so we need to believe it. You see what it means? Because that was said. This is the end of suffering. This is the end of pain. This is why the Ten of Swords is here. So we're not going to suffer anymore. That's what it means. Because we've been feeling down and betrayed. We were having trouble. That we were probably feeling like someone or the, when it comes to relationships in general, things were not coming the way we wanted. Offers were not going in, in any area of our life, not only in love. We kind of fell down. Gemini's, we've been hit hard, you know. The last three years, I would say, we, we get hard, you know, hit hard. Now, when it turns to, when it comes to relationships in general, especially in love, right? But 
just see love in everything you do or you say, right? No offerings. Oh, uh, well, they will come in and get out. No commitments in any way, even at work, right? Like things were like not staying, but it will come up good and then suddenly it's gone, right? And now we are ready to let go. Whatever this energy was behind, now we done with it we done with it so this is the energy right now we entering saying i'm done with everything and i am ready to start back to one this is the ten ten of swords and now we sign from one so now we're going to start new year new cycle now is the last two weeks of december is then when we build we going to be completely done with everything which is great okay so I know your face is like your face was like, Ugh, and I said I don't like it until I see this card from behind, and I said, okay, now I see it. What we need to avoid the bear. The bear means we need to avoid being a little bit more uh, too too possessive in certain way of things, a situation, of people. Um, of course, let me see what is behind this. Okay, yeah, garden. Uh 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 uh. Yes, so we need to, well, the garden usually means invitations and invitations to argue, invitations to the problems, and maybe we kind of being too strong in our personality, too possessive, could be jealousy involved, or we dealing with that type of energy and we need to avoid it. Jealousy of people, because this usually means someone else, problems, the snake with, you know, Let's try to avoid these people who's trying to invite you to invite you to become this mama bear. You know what I mean, right? Just relax. I'm done. I'm not going back to that snake energy around me. Go away. I don't need it. We need to focus on listening more. And it says, quiet your mind, beloved one, my jammies. And listen to our gentle reassurance that everything has been taken care of. You see? We just need to listen. We don't need to fight. We just need to stay calm, relax, stand, be strong. But not to be too much in this energy of Bama, Bama Bear. Because we don't need to be too protected. That's what the bear means too. Overprotecting something or someone or the situation. Like over defensive or, you know, because you're trying to protect like a bear, right? Like you see how the bear with the female is very protective. Like someone try to come and the bears go, ooh, even with their honey, right? Like the stuff. Bear, it's over protective. Okay, so we need to avoid that, that energy. Because I know someone is trying to invite us to it. So I'll see that. And I already know what that means. And this isn't in any area, love, relationships in general, any type of relationships, the job, anything, investments, anything. So we need to know and listen to things. See and listen, especially listen. Things and change, changes are happening, are happening. And if you go back to the month uh, reading for December, go back to it and listen to it. And it says, stay in a quiet and receptive state remember mercury retrograde without worrying about the exact nature of your desires manifestation a quiet mind and body hears us quickly and clearly this is our request to you listen so i know this last two weeks we need to listen more than speak and i know it's really hard for gemini to do that but i am going to apply this because seriously i think i already talk enough i already said enough and I am done with this Ten of Swords. And I'm ready to start over. Because our lesson, my gemmies, is to be courageous. To be courageous and find our inner strength to face our fears with confidence. And let's be confident. We can do this. We can do that. I know we've been in a period, like I said, struggling for the last three years. And now things are starting changing. Things are starting coming better. And we're like, is it true? Right? Is this happening? Like things are starting coming like very good. I hope it's for the most of us, Jammies, but some 
might be like, no, this is not happening to me. Well, remember Neptune area too. It's a Neptune planet. It's around here with illusions too. So it's kind of like playing gay sometimes. So avoid that. I think, I think actually Neptune is gone right now for the last, yeah. So let's stay focused and clear that things are being taken care of already. So just don't be defensive. The universe is taking care of it. Remember, we done with arguing and, and feeling betrayed. And what are we done with that? We letting go. And that's why we're not going back there. We're not being here anymore. Well, my singles, completely singles, we need loyalty. Your reability demonstrate your loving sense of devotion and consistency of being. So that is for my completely singles. I think it has to be with loyalty and I think what it's trying to say is like stay in the energy of if you are trying to find someone or trying to be with someone maybe through this energy of loyalty you might find love or activate love from someone if you being for example not in a relationship with someone because I wouldn't consider a relationship and you are let's say in a long distance relationship not a long distance relationship but you know a friend that you like someone, but you're not sure. It seems like that person like you, but you're not in a relationship. Remember, you're alone. You're alone. Don't consider yourself because we're talking. We are together. That doesn't mean anything. So let's say the other person leaves another country and then you leave in another country and you guys know each other for the longest. I'm just putting an example. And I think what the energy is telling you, the universe is telling you, stay loyal to that person because if you know that person likes you and that person really, you know, think you like you like him or it's like her, right? I think it's trying to say devotion, devotion to the situation, devotion to what's going on to you. Be grateful, you know. Things happen for a reason. And I know because this person told me things happen for, for a reason. And I'm like, oh, you know, it got to my heart, you know. And I realized, you know, consistency, you know, trying to find that loyalty in people, situations, people. I know it's hard, has been really hard. That's why we been here. But we now that things are being taken care of, we are learning to be courageous and stand up in our feet. Avoiding this, just listening now. We know it's done. We just stay consistent. And looking for that person or that situation, that love to enter that enter in our life that has to be with loyalty. Because we are looking for someone who's loyal to us. And we need to give that energy to the universe too for people to see that we are loyal. And I know a lot of people says or think that Gemmies are not. We are super loyal when we love. And this is the same card for like three signs. Respect. You see I was shuffling. So respect. So my gemmies and couples, respect, respect, show respect, and you will receive respect and, uh, with your partner, okay? I think you guys understand that, right? Respect your partner's point of view, so he will respect yours, okay? And try to stay courageous, face your fears, and with confidence, because changes are coming. This pain, suffering, being in our mind, mental you know whatever is was going on here is over we're moving forward to start something new okay my jammies much love much light and wishing you everyone a wonderful new year and um happy holidays and christmas ciao